this is code.org and we are learning the mod operator or the modulo operator uh which i actually love because i'm nerdy it is so useful in programming what it does is it gives you the remainder of division so let's make sense of this this is the mod modulo operator and it's the percent sign yeah that's what it is reminder here's how it works divide the first number by the second you are left with a remainder for example 11 modulo 2 11 divided by 2 is 5, right? Because uh, uh, 2 times 5 is 10, and that's how many times 2 can go into 10. 2 can go into 11. So what's left over then? Well, 1. 1 is left over. So modulo, if I did modulo like it is here, the answer would be 1. It's that leftover chunk. Read the code. Look at the example. Put in a council statement with your answer. Put in a council statement with your answer after each modular statement. Run the program to check your answers. Oh, okay. So let's hit run. Okay, right now it says. Oh, okay, they're starting us off. Cool. So five modulo two. How many times can two go into five? Well, it can can only go into twice. So two times two is four, and then there's one left over. So they're kind of giving us a hint here. All right, so let's go to variables, reset, and grab our own council log because it looks like they want us to leave a blank line or something. All right, so what is 2 modulo 3? So 2 modulo 3, hmm, how many times can 3 go into 2? Zero times. So how much is left over? What is the result there? Well, 2 is left over. It can't go in at all. So this one's a bit tricky, but 2 is left over. Now let me add another council log. Zoop. And here we are. 10 divided by 2. All right. How many times can 2 go into 10? Well, 5 times. So how much is left over? Well, 5 times 2 is 10. 0. So 10 modulo 2 is 0. All right. And then another council log. 2 modulo 4. Well, how many times can 4 go into 2? zero four cannot go into two at all so what's left over then two because it can't go in at all it doesn't eliminate anything all right and now let's do a council log here how many times can one go into seven well one can go into seven seven times what seven times one seven how much is left over zero one and one so we match because this is outputting since this is a council log this is the answer right five uh, modulo 2 is 1, and that's what this one is. And they put 1. Good. Now blank. Now 2 modulo 3, the answer, because 3 can't go into 2, right? So what's left over? 2. So three mo 2 modulo 3, the answer is 2, and we got that. So on and so forth. Awesome. Onward.